hi guys welcome to pyjango tutorials so as you know in the last video we have successfully created the online and offline status of the user and you can see that here so this is what we have created joshua has left the web page and the his status has changed to offline as soon as i come back this status has changed to online so as of this video we'll start working on the notification system so this this particular functionality will be developed in two parts so like because videos are getting very long so what we can do as of in this video we can simply add a bell icon and the notification count styling part and all we'll do later on but this is the bell icon and this is the message count that is uh, the new notification which are not seen by now so like let me show you the demo so let's say i have sent a message to joshua hi josh and hit the submit button so you can see this count has been updated to five now why this is five uh, you'll understand that later in the video but this is five because there are five uh, uh, notification in the table which are not seen by the user until now so this that's why the count is five now if i send here message to anshu you can see anshu's count has been updated to three so this way user can be you know uh, notified that there are new notifications or new messages that are appeared in your chat and in the next part of this functionality we will develop when user clicks on this uh, bell icon a pop-up will be open where you can see all the notifications that you have got and once you open the pop-up will change their uh, is seen status to true so that uh, so uh, that's because we want as soon as uh, user has seen all the notification we want to reset this count to zero and again that counting will start so this is uh, what we will be developing and this is very basic notification system and you can tweak this code in whatever manner you want or what are your requirements you'll cha change that accordingly but for you to get started this is the basic functionality we will be developing and also guys i have recently posted a poll uh, about my next tutorial series so i've given there two options whether you want me to create a YouTube clone, a proper YouTube clone, that means how we will handle the large upload files and how we can, you know, serve the data or serve the video properly. Uh, we will up implement these sort of things in our YouTube clone or we can create a much more advanced WhatsApp clone that is using Django REST, WebSockets uh, and React. So this way we can, you know, learn to implement Django REST with uh, Django channels and uh, our WebSockets with React as well. So please do go there and, uh, you know, choose the option what you want me to build. So we can either go with YouTube or YouTube clone or WhatsApp clone again with React.js, Django REST framework and uh, WebSockets. And that's all I want to say. Now we can proceed with the code. So let's get started. In this also, we have to come up with sort of ways to uh, store the information of the notification. So again, we need a model for that. So let's start by creating a model. And don't worry, after this particular video, I'll update the code in the GitHub. As you can see, it is not updated yet. But after this video, I'll definitely do that. So let's start by creating a model. So this will be chat. Uh, let's name it notification. And this will be models.model. First thing that we want to store is the chat for which we uh, are creating the notification so models dot this will be foreign key uh, to our chat model on delete definitely we want to delete everything 
models dot cascade and next thing that we want to have is our user so user equals to this again will be the foreign key so this is the user for whom this notification will be created so let's say there are sender and receiver so when sender sends a message then notification will be created for receiver so this particular user will be the receiver again on delete equals to models dot cascade and last we want the is seen status of so this will be models dot boolean field again we want our default to be false so is seen is basically telling uh, or saving that whether this particular notification has been saved or not uh, seen or not okay let's have a string representation for this and we will simply again return a self dot user dot username or we can uh, return message as well it's up to you but let's just return a username our model is complete so let's also register it first so this will be chat notification admin dot site dot register uh, chat notification okay so i guess we can first migrate this and then we'll proceed further so python manage dot by main migrations now we can migrate okay now we can run the server and let's see our model is created or not so the it's 27 it's not https it's actually 127 this will be admit so you can see our chat notification model has been created so if we want to create we can select the message here because our message is uh, chat model is also a foreign key and we can select the user and we have a scene status so these all things we have now let's we will utilize this to create a notification in real time so we can start by creating a consumer for this so i'll let's create a consumer here before our online status consumer so i'm gonna name it as notification consumer this will be async websocket consumer uh, let's create our very first simply connect function now as we know in the last tutorial we have created a simple static room group or group name with user but as we know that notification will be very personal to the individual user we don't want our notification to be broadcasted in for every user so instead what we can do we can get again the id of the user so we can simply say uh, or we can just copy the line from here where it is yeah we can copy this line so we can give get this id and with this id itself we can create a room group name so room group name equals to using f string we can create a my id 
so this will be our room group name so this will be unique to every user so, so let's say we have 100 users in our database so 100 of these groups will be created and each group will be assigned to each user now we can await for our channel layers so self dot channel layer dot group add we can add this group self dot room group name from a self dot channel name now once we have the channel layer we can accept this connection so this is where the group is added to the channel layer and this is where we are accepting now while we are here let's also connect let's also create a disconnect function that will simply discard self dot channel layer dot group uh, discard self dot room group name comma self dot channel name okay so our very basic consumer is done so i guess we can create a route for this so notification consumer path can simply be ws slash notify yeah that will be okay notification consumer now like in the previous video we have created a separate file for online status we can do the same and we will name it as uh, notify.js and now we are ready to make our very first connection so we can say const uh, i'm gonna name it as notify socket uh, this will be new web socket and ws plus window dot location dot post ws and last one was notify slash yeah this is correct now again notify socket dot on open equals to this will take in as function and we can simply log out here uh, again connect it to notification and another function that we can create is notify socket dot on close function e is connected from notification now we are ready to test this out again where is our main chat dot html this is we can copy paste this and this will be notify.js so let's go ahead and test this out i'm gonna inspect here let me hard refresh it so you can see i'm connected to notification so that means our first very first connection for chat consumer is also established our connection to online consumer is also started and our connection to notification consumer has also started so now what we can do is first what i want to do is create some sort of a bell icon and a counter here so let's very fast let's do that so i can come here 
and where do we have that icon uh right below this where it is okay i want to delete this circle here so let me just cut this and instead i can create a notification class and i can give let me just reassure it we are using font awesome four version so font awesome four icons uh, we are interested in bell icon so that means this icon i want the, yeah I want this one. Let's just paste it here. And I want one count as well. So uh, instead, span dot, I can give it a class as badge. And ID also I can give as count badge. Because we need this ID when we receive message to actually you know uh, point to this pan tag now let's just save this and let's refresh it here so we have this notification icon obviously we have to style it a bit but i guess there's one class in font awesome i guess oh and let's give a count here of one now let's refresh this yeah so this is the class I've been talking about. I like this icon a lot than the solid one. So now obviously we have to style it up later, but for now we are interested in the functionality. So styling part and all, I'll commit the code directly. I won't be doing that much here. And obviously my CSS isn't that good enough. So if you guys want to style this, you can obviously style this and create a pull request to the repository and i'll merge the code okay so now we have a way to show the count so what i like what we did in the last video was whenever we are saving this online status then after using signals we are sending message to our channel from here something similar will do for our uh, this notification system as well but we won't be saving notification in our uh, notification consumer instead we will be using this function to save our uh, what say uh, notifications so what i can do is uh, let's say i i have access to the other user id other user i mean the who's the receiver so i can get other user id is to sell dot scope from scope i'm interested in url route so i guess url underscore route and from that i want keyword arguments quarks and from that i am interested in id now i want to get the users so user dot objects dot get user dot uh sorry i'm interested in id id equals to uh other user id now let's say if I want one more parameter here, receiver. Why am I doing this? I'll explain in a bit. If receiver equal to equal to get, this is just an additional check I'm placing here. So if our receiver equals to get user dot username, that is this particular user, then I want a chat notification dot objects dot 
create uh, and our chat will be let's just store this in a variable called chat obj at obj and user will be uh, this get user this particular user because remember our notification has this foreign key relation to chat and foreign key relation to user so i have given their instances as a parameter now we have to come up with a way how we can get this receiver so like in our receive function we are getting the username of that means this is actually the sender this username is actually the sender we have to give receiver here as well so what we can do let's come in our chat message and remember in our html file where it is in our html file we have this user this is actually the send, uh, receiver so we can utilize this so let me just copy this here as well let me paste this and this will be receiver and id will be this id yeah now we have a receiver as well so here we can send receiver key with the receiver name okay so in our send parameter we have given this key or this object as well so in our consumer similarly we can get receiver as well let me just simply copy this receiver receiver and receiver and we can pass this parameter here so our work is done now that receiver will come here and if that receiver username is equal to this this is i'm doing just because of extra check that i want to apply that whether this chat so that this chat notification is created uh, accurately now we will utilize signals so as you know in the previous video we whenever the mo model or this field that is this user profile model is updated we are using signals to send this to the particular layer something similar we will do here as well so what we can do from models we can import a chat notification model as well and let's name it as send notification this time send comma instance comma created and keyword arguments and this time we are interested whether this is created because we want to send this for the very first time so if created we again we want to get our channel uh, channel layer equals to get channel layer and what we want is our notification notification object and we want the total count remember we want to show here the total number of unseen messages so what we can do we can simply chat notification dot objects dot filter by is seen equals to false and user equals to instance dot user instance is basically that particular uh, notification object which is being created so i have given user here that only because remember when in our consumer 
the user is actually our receiver if you remember this is this is actually our receiver so i am filtering out data according to that particular user and i'm simply getting the total count of is seen now i want to send this in to our layer so what i can do is create a dictionary data equals to and i can simply send a count with notification object and then i can utilize this async to sync function channel layer dot group send every other things are pretty similar and what we want to send is our user id remember uh, what's our group name for yeah notification consumer this will be our group name right so this is actually the logged in user so we have to sort of come get the logged in user here so what we can do as we know our user id will be this let's come instance dot user dot id so instance is basically again that receiver we are interested in that receiver's id and because we uh, remember this group send actually takes a parameter group name so group name for group name with the need this id so that's what we are getting here and i've converted it to string because room group name should be string and the id is integer so i've converted it to string now we can simply pass this and uh, we we can pass this data before that we have to give type so type will be send notification because this is the function we'll create later and value will be uh, value will be our data or not actually we have to json dump it json dumps data so that our front end can also understand this json properly now we have created this function uh, we uh, we are able to send this data to the channel layer but for sending data to the front end we need to implement this function that we have shown in type so let's come to our notification and here we can simply give a sync text let me just copy it for the sake of accuracy send notification this will take a parameter as self from an event so event will be this parameter actually in json format so what we can do is data equals to json dot loads and remember our key was so event dot get our key was value now from that we are interested in count so that will be data and remember the key was count uh, this key and we have to send this so i will await self dot send text data is the parameter and again i'll dump this json dot dumps and i'll dump this in count and count so our consumer is complete finally let's come back to our notify.js and remember here we have created that span tag yeah so we are interested in this so what we can do is grab the id of this or we can simply yeah we can grab the id and we can say count batch equals to document dot 
get element by id and we can give the id here so we have our count badge and we can now initialize a function on message uh, sorry function e and const data equals to json dot parse e dot data now we can say count batch dot inner html equals to data dot count because that's the key we are sending in this function so data dot count i guess that's all we are ready to test this out so let's grab both our windows where it is yeah this one okay let me just refresh both the windows uh i don't know why by default we are getting the number one here so let me just check this out once again i think we haven't saved it okay yeah we haven't saved this okay let me just refresh that once again yeah so our count is gone so let's say i type a message here hey count for josh two should be one after this message Okay, I guess there's some error. So let's debug that. Connection lost. And connection is actually lost with our chat. Okay, let's check the error. Okay. So I guess we are getting error. Data receiver. So consumer is actually not receiving this. Okay, let's check this. So where is our consumer? Consumer is not receiving this key from the front end. Let's print our data. And in our chat.js, let's verify once again whether we are sending the right name or not. Uh, where is our main.html okay 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 so this is actually id okay 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 got it so this should be user dot username and we can give a name here receiver because we are using it as id and we don't have that i guess this was a bit okay let's first correct this and then we can verify by printing the data and let's cross verify the key as well so this is let me just copy paste this okay guys so the problem was i haven't refreshed both the pages so i haven't refreshed this one actually the joshua's account and that's why he's not getting that receiver key and that's what the issue is so let me just refresh it for the sake of safety once more and let's send our message a one so you can see our messages are actually sending but we are not getting the updated count here so there's some issue i guess in our notify.js let me verify this id okay so this id is present so that means 
there's some error here let me just log the e okay 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 and if i send the message again a1 okay i'm not getting anything printed on message so that means our on message is not firing up so let's come back to our consumer the send notification is actually sending the count here and uh, okay this is fine i guess let's come to our signal okay yeah the issue is we haven't given the receiver and the type of signal so it is post save and sender will be our uh, sorry chat notification so this was the issue now i guess everything should work so let me just refresh this okay now if i send a change count to one so josh okay you can see the count here is changed to three and that's because if you see uh, where it is chat and chat notification there are three objects created so earlier messages that i've sent where it is yeah in our consumer sorry in our consumer so as soon as i send message this chat notification is created and this chat notification signal is actually sending the count of all the last uh, not seen where it is seen as false it is sending the count and that's why the count is uh, three now if i send change count to one for unshu and if i send this you can see count here changed to one similarly if i do this for josh again hey josh count change to four i unshu count change to two so like this is very basic notification system so like we have to come up with additional checks so like if right now if i'm currently chatting with josh when joshua sends me a message i don't want this chat notification to be created or this count should be updated so much more logical way to think this is that if i'm chatting with that particular user only or if that particular user's chat page is open then there's no need to create this uh, chat model or chat object why should we so we can come up with additional checks and uh, requirements according to our need but for now this is very basic notification system so every time a user sends you a message this count will be updated for you but in the next video when you will uh, we will implement when you will click on this notification icon a uh, pop up will be open for you and you can see all the messages that are sent to you as a notification where notification is uh false where is seen status is false so when you click on that is seen it will be automatically updated and that's how things will be and later on we will uh you know update this list according to our notification or the notification uh and or the timestamp just like uh, whatsapp does so i guess that's all for this video in the next part of this uh, functionality will proceed with the modal and pop up thing and then later on we'll update this list as well but that's all for this video and once again thank you so much for watching